Hey everybody, welcome back to another Pixar toy review. My name is Dan Taylor, in case you're new here, and today I'm finally taking a look at the Mattel Pixar Minis Andy's Toy Chest Stackable Story Set, inspired by Toy Story, of course, the third and final set, at least for now, in this Stackable Stories assortment. Now, I've been meaning to get this review up for a long time. I believe I got this back in April or May, but as you know, my Lightyear reviews have been keeping me crazy busy. I'm not even close to being done with those yet, though, so don't worry. But yeah, I'm finally just taking taking a quick light year break to give you my thoughts on this long awaited and kind of elusive set. So this release follows the Wally -E stackable story set and the Monsters Inc stackable story set, both of which I already reviewed, so be sure to check out those videos if you haven't already. But while those two were very easy to find as they were sold earlier this year by Amazon directly, never in stores though from what I know, this Toy Story set trickled out a lot slower and I've only ever seen it sold online by sites like Toy Wiz, third-party sellers on Amazon, through eBay. Um, it's had a very odd distribution, to say the least. Um, I'm not even sure how all the third-party sellers are getting it, but regardless, I'm just happy it got released and that I have it. For a little while, I feared that it might be canceled. Now, if you've been following my blog and or my channel for a while, you might know that I've been collecting the Toy Story slash Pixar minis ever since the line debuted back in 2016. So, wow, six years ago at this point. And I'm just surprised and delighted that we're still getting some new releases here and there after all this time. Every time, just when I think Pixar minis are over, Mattel goes ahead and releases something new. Anyway, love the packaging here. So colorful, so cute. I've always loved the character art used for the minis line, and I like that Woody and Rex art is included here in the corner. I love seeing the classic Toy Story logo as well. And then another highlight of this particular package is the little cardboard army man bucket under the two included figures. That was just such a nice touch. On the back here, you can see the other two sets that I mentioned, the Monsters, Inc. Scare Floor and the Wally inspired one called the Wally's Collection. And again, you can find my videos detailing both of those sets here on my channel. Um, but if you didn't watch those and you're unfamiliar with what stackable story sets are, as you can see here, they're just little display environments made for Mattel's Pixar Minis line, inspired by different iconic Pixar locations, which can be connected and stacked up on top of each other. Definitely a fun and unique little concept for sure. Okay, well, what do you say we take all this out and go in for a more detailed look? All right, so the first thing that I wanted to touch on is the figures, since unfortunately neither of them are new here. Both this roaring version of Rex and the Woody included here have both been released previously. They might be new to you if you didn't get them when they were first available, so this could be an exciting release for you, but for me, they're just duplicates. Rex here was released a couple years ago in the 2020 Andy's Toy Box Blind Bag series. And then Woody here, who does have a removable hat, by the way, was originally available in 2019, with the Toy Story 4 RV vehicle, which in turn was an updated version of the 2018 Toy Story Minis Blind Bag Series 5 Woody. Love his little quick draw pose there, but yeah, nothing new sadly, so I do wish that at least one new exclusive character was included here in this set, like maybe Shark, and then if Woody had to be included, obviously I would have preferred a new version. So those are my thoughts on the minifigures themselves. Now let's get to checking out what we're all here for, this Andy's Room inspired set. It's the same size as the Wally -E stackable story set, measuring about four and a quarter inches wide, two and three quarters inches deep, and three and a quarter inches tall. And it's got several really cute details inspired by Andy's Room in the original Toy Story, like a teeny tiny Hot Wheels loop track set there coming off the dresser, which even has a teeny tiny molded car on it. I absolutely love that a little Pixar ball is included in here. That's fantastic, especially since I'm a big collector of Pixar balls. Of course, Andy's signature cloud wallpaper is back there. How could it not be? And even the little blue area rug from the film is present. Once again, like it was with the others, the base can be pulled out like this and closed up to reveal that the whole outside of this set is Andy's iconic toy chest, which is the perfect touch. Absolutely brilliant. I'll just turn things around here so you can see all the subtle molded details. Really cute stuff. All the details both inside and outside are great. And by the way, if it wasn't obvious, the Pixar ball and everything else inside this set for that matter is molded onto the base. Nothing here can be removed. So yeah, we'll just open things back up here like so. And then you can either display your Toy Story minis with the base out like this, or with it all back inside like this. Speaking of, let's go ahead and display the two included minis on here for now. Looks pretty adorable. And then I'll wrap things up at the end of this video by getting all the minis that I have that are characters from the original Toy Story specifically. And now to finally demonstrate how all three of these stackable story sets can stack on top of each other, boom, there we go. After all these months, my Pixar stackable stories tower is complete. 
Also, for anyone curious, let's see how Mattel's 2017 Toy Story Minis Andy's Room playset on the left here, which, yes, does have a lot of the same elements, it's just bigger, stacks up against the new stackable story set. Yes, pun intended. I will say, I really like how the 2017 set comes with Buzz in the Hot Wheels Red Baron inspired car and a separate Andy's toy chest. See you, Buzz, go ahead and fall with style. And then check it out, the toy chest from that set even opens up, which is really cool. I love that. So, with that said, probably the original set wins for me as far as the better of the two, if I had to choose, but the Stackable Stories version is a cute, different take on Andy's room, and I'm happy to have both. And now for something that I was excited for, adding in all the other Toy Story 1 Mattel minis to this stackable story set, and man, it's cute stuff. What else can I say? I'm really happy with this set. It's definitely on par with the other stackables in this line, and I'm just thrilled to have anything new when it comes to Pixar minis, so this is pretty exciting to me. Like I said with the other two stackable story sets, there's not much actual play value here. Things are just so small and void of really any features, but I do think this is a great option for slightly older kids and also collectors who are just looking for a fun and colorful addition to their minis and or Toy Story display. Whether you're an avid collector of Mattel Pixar minis like I am or not, this could totally just make for a fun little one-off in your Toy Story collection since, I mean, come on, which Toy Story collector out there can resist anything related to Andy's room or his toy chest, right? So yeah, I'd recommend picking this up for your collection, makes for a nice desk or shelf piece, and doesn't take up too much space at all. Now, as far as price, most sellers are selling this thing right now for about $20 to $25, which is unfortunately double what it's supposed to be since the original retail price would have been $10.99, but it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think though. Will you be picking this set up? And if more Pixar stackable story sets get made, which location would you like to see? As always, I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Subscribe for more Pixar toy news, reviews, and toy hunts. Find me all over social media at DanThePixarFan. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you all in my next video.